Hello, my name is Rob Nicholson, and today I'm going to be demonstrating WebSphere Smash with the Kix Transaction Gateway. For the purposes of this demo, I'll have a Smash application running on my local system, and this will connect to a Kix system which runs a library program which implements a simple book lending library interface. I'm going to connect using the Kix Transaction Gateway over ECI, and my Smash application will access that using the Java CTG client. To interact with the library program, I'll be using uh, Java classes that were generated using JSOS. Then in my Smash application, which I'll be implementing using PHP, I will communicate with the Java classes using the Java bridge, and I'll also have some HTML and JSON code which I'll be building in the example. This is App Builder, the web browser based development environment that comes with Smash. I'm going to click on create new application to create my new Kix demo application. Now I'm going to click on Kix demo to begin developing the application. The first thing we're going to need to do is to generate the Java classes that we're going to use to interact with the Kix program. So I start out with my COBOL source which contains a definition of a COM area. I compile that to produce the ADATA file. The ADATA file I then feed into JSOS which produces me the Java classes for the COM area and I, I then use the PHP Java bridge uh, to access those and also to access the Kix Transaction Gateway client Java classes. I'm going to use a command line environment to generate the Java classes using JSOS. I've downloaded JSOS and also the ADATA file that I got from the COBOL compiler for the library. I'm using JSOS to generate the Java classes to represent the COM area and also the cl classes to represent the constants. Now I'm going to copy the JSOS classes and the library Java code into my new Smash application. Returning now to App Builder, we're going to use the command prompt that's within App Builder itself to compile the Java classes so that we can script against them. Now we are going to create a RESTful web service to represent the data in our COBOL program in a form that's easy to consume by the Ajax front end we will be creating. We do this by creating a Smash resource handler called book.php. This represents the data as a collection of books. Book.php will eventually contain the logic to implement the LCRUD operations on our COBOL library. That's list, create, retrieve, update, and delete. Let's look first at the code to implement list. The code to implement the other operations is just as simple. We import the Java classes that we created from the library com area and constants and the CTG classes. Then we must implement a PHP class called book to represent our collection. This has a method called onList which is called for the list operation and this makes use of run library program which calls CTG to interact with our com area. You can see how simple the PHP is needed to interact with Kix in this way. Now we can start our application. I'm using port 8084 on the local host here. And once it's started, we can interact with the RESTful web service. I'm going to use a Firefox add-on called Poster here to interact with the RESTful web service which will appear on port 8084 as resources slash book. Using Poster, we can perform an HTTP GET to see the collection that gets returned. I can complete my RESTful resource handler by implementing the other methods in my PHP class book which sits on top of the Kix program. The other methods are onCreate, onRetrieve, onUpdate and onDelete. 
Now I have a REST service that I can read and write and the data will flow all of the way back to Kix. For example, now I can post and the details of a new book to the service and that data will flow back into Kix. Having built my RESTful web service, I will now build an AJAX front end using the Dojo technology in Smash. In order to do this, I'll start out by building a data model to represent the RESTful service to the Smash widgets that use it. Having created my data model, I'll create the HTML page that will be the front of my application. I create a new ZRM data store. This acts as the client side data abstraction and is used by the other Dojo widgets. It needs to know that it's going to attach to the book RESTful collection. Now I create a ZRM data grid. This is a very useful widget that provides a spreadsheet like view of the data in the RESTful web service. I configure it to be read-write and I connect it to the bookstore data store. By clicking on the URI for the application we browse to its front page and we'll see the data grid load and the data will load asynchronously from Kix. So this gives us a view onto that data that's in Kix but we can also write to it by clicking on create and entering a new uh, book into the library. Let's title an author. and we click on save to save that back into Kix. We can also delete by selecting a line and clicking on delete and then saving. That will perform a restful delete. Now let's add the ability to re review books to the application. The Kix program doesn't have this so we'll use Smash. We'll use a facility of Smash called ZRM. ZRM needs a model to describe the data that's going to be stored. In this case we have a book ID, the body of the review and the reviewer. Now let's create a RESTful web service to represent the reviews. We'll do this using a file called review.groovy. The implementation of this will be delegated entirely to the ZRM component of Smash with a single line of code zrm.delegate. Next we switch to the console window to enter the command zero model sync which will create a database to back our RESTful web service. Now let's start to build the AJAX front end for the review. Again we will use a, a ZRM data store and this one will be called review store and again we'll use a ZRM data grid which we'll drag out below the other grid. We will connect this ZRM data grid to the uh, data store for the reviews and here we have the two ZRM data grids in the same page. So let's refresh the page and now we see the two grids. The data will load asynchronously from, from Kix and now we can start to enter a review into the second ZRM data grid. The data for this obviously does not go back to Kix. This goes to a ZRM implemented uh, RESTful resource handler. I spent a few more minutes adding some more Dojo widgets to provide a filtering mechanism and adding a few lines of JavaScript to connect the widgets together. I put a very simple CSS skin onto the application and tidied up the layout a little to make it look more professional. It's a nice example of a Web 2.0 style situational application. The application uses client-side Ajax technology to provide a responsive user experience. It's possible to restrict the books shown by title or by author and the application will fetch the matching books from the Kix server it's based upon. By clicking on a book, the reviews for that book are shown, thus providing the critical social aspect of Web 2.0, third parties interacting with each other around our service. In this example, these reviews are not stored in Kix, but rather in the Smash CRM layer we built. We've used Smash to rapidly develop a Web 2.0 style application. We could easily go further and back ZRM with DB2 on Kix or connect it up to a service implemented on Kix using CTG or the Kix Atom service. Please look out for more examples on projectzero.org.